Hello and welcome. I am the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together, together we, we are Modeling for Advantage. Look at this, John. Look at that. World of Tanks, like the actual World of Tanks. World of Tanks, the miniatures game. So uh, what we believe this to be is uh, Tanks World War II skirmish game in a new package with a new box and pre-built minis. Pretty much. Let's have a look. I've already taken the set of off. Well, we got Pro, mate. So while we've, oh, the box looks nice inside there, I'm seeing John. Mate, this is worth money. <laughs> I've got I've got to say, as I'm taking the box off, just straight up, right, straight up. Presentation. Nice. Presentation, this is nice. nice. This nice, looks nice, like a nice, nice product. Nice, nice, nice. See nice. the pre-built minis. Get a code Ooh. if you play on game online. Yeah, mate, let's get out. We need to get still of this. It looks so shit. Anyways, mate. box contents for a assembled. Huge. There is a lot of space. Oh, yeah, there. box contents. Yeah, what's box in here, contents. John? So you should be seeing in front of you, sir. I'm seeing things in front uh, of me. Four assembled and painted plastic tanks. Now, we're talking We're going to talk eBay, about more, talk more on this, more on this. Pro painted, uh, of which there are some names we'll cover in the moment. You get the rule book, you get dice, you get some tank cards, you get crew, module, and equipment cards, a standard. You get 32 critical damage cards. We love those. Uh, two terrain and token sheets, much like before, and you get an online bonus code for new and existing players because it is actually a game. Online. World of Tanks, yeah. Fact. But I think it's just like they've just franchised the name. So straight up, we'll get you a still of this because I think the, in terms of presentation, this is nicely it's, presented. Yeah, I mean, and the other thing I'm noticing here, look, John, is these huge recesses for all the cards. Yep. So there's a lot of... This the, is literally, the, you've got, you can you, take this along and play it with your body. Yeah, it's, you got, it's a board game. Ooh, you get your little dices. Dices? You get your little dices, yep. So it used to be like four fives and then sixes of crits, whereas now you've got hit, hit, and world of tanks. So it's, I think this is very much the same. They had previewed the rules. They had. We'd seen, yeah, you can get, you can get PDF you can of the rules. Download them for free. In there. So we'll get the, we'll get the stuff open and then we'll start talking about it all, shall we? That's three pens, mate. Ooh. Three pens, no crits. What are you going to do about it? Three pens, no crits. So we get a little, mate, we get an LP. Oh! We get a vinyl, in it. How the hell's your invite code? Do you reckon it's uh, I'm gonna Elton John soon. Rocket Man? Do your thing. Do that. You get a right. quick reference sheet, which is nice. Right. What you got? All oh, right, so we get a bit of paper here showing us what we can expect to be released. That's very much like the online game. I don't know if you played That's it. That's very, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's divided them, up, that divided them up into tiers. So straight up, just looking at that, waves one through five are vehicles that already exist. One of the great hopes that um, Battlefront players in general have is that as this game develops, we're going to start to see new vehicles. Uh, we uh, Hopefully we'll see some of the wacky stuff that the online... Uh, the, the, the online game has. Like the, the you, mouse you, and yeah. the Land Raider and <laughs> the other random things they've oh, done. Oh, like the like Halloween special vehicles. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. I think you might be expecting a lot there, John. Oh, man. Um, but, yeah. All right. So that's what those are. I'll get some stills of those. And then we've got our punch-out cards. Now, just straight up, Ooh, right? These look a bit... These are a bit... Evolved. Yeah, I would say so. Um, you get your bits of cardboard scenery, which is nice. And you get your damage tokens. Loads of houses. These are your movement tokens now, the tank treads. Why you know, if you've four? moved one or Why two or three, four? they're just numbers. They're just numbers, I'm mate. sure it was a shonky uh, depiction of a tank tread before. Oh, right. I, just, I don't think I recognise yeah, that yeah, aspect of it. I think it was meant it. to be. And look, you get, you get punch out terrain. So, as much as I don't need this, I've got a, I've got a lot of 15 mil scenery. I think if you're going to do a start set of a, of a like um, a board game, like an act entry level war game, this looks as this if stuff it's is good. At that, mate. And this is good. Thick cardstock. This is good. Yeah. Um, now I do tanks with kids at school. Yeah. And one of the challenges is I have to take my models in because a new models, these kits on sprue, they're not for 12 year olds. Uh, they they're for twelve year olds who already game, but, but you can't like, give hello, a, can't hello, give an eleven year old who's Let's never play played. Tanks. But before we play, uh, yeah, build this, <laughs> yeah, yeah, miniature, because yeah. um, they're um, they've not been designed with that in mind. 
Yeah, yeah. Sort of a middle, I mean, they're so not overly got, complex, but it still takes no, a little not. bit you know, of patience to, to get those bits together. So then we got our rules Oosh. booklet. Our rules booklet. I'm just wondering, actually, John, if you In have comparison. a look at that, the ruler, should we see if it's see if it's the same size? I'll reach over for my tanks bits. And and you can maybe show them. Edge. It even tells you. You can maybe compare some of the tokens to the old ones, actually. So this is slightly toad shenanigans. Is it the same size? It is very close. Is it to not? Is it not exactly the same? Not size? exactly. Oh, like we're, no. we're talking just a slight overhang. So if you spent there. money on a bespoke range ruler from the previous game, you're about eight. It's just eight, a, a two mil, mil out. two mil. Yeah, at tops. that that may be a manufacturing error from our end rather than theirs. <laughs> right, rules booklet. This has been out for a while, but look, it's nicely laid out for a, for a pamphlet. Yep. Nicely presented, you've got a quick reference sheet on the back. Yep, yeah, we've got some battle modes. Ooh, Ooh you've got your first game, tell you what to do with the woods. We're going to play this first game, but it's the thing here, aren't we? Command phase. The presentation of these rules is very nice. Good. I think explaining the line of sight and everything. That is Shooting a tank trip, mate. That is a tank trip. Is that the old one? That's the old there? one. Yeah, mate, even telling you exactly what all the tokens are. So that's but that's all the that's all the boring stuff, isn't it? That's not what people are here for. What they're here for is to see the beautiful So this is one of the main features of the new game is that you can get pre painted. In fact, even the blisters. No, no, you can get, you do you get do get pre painted tanks. So let's have a look. I'm pulling out the Panzer IV, mate, just that, right? it's the okay. closest. So one of the things that bothered me about this potentially was was like how thick this paint was, how well it was going to have been painted, mm -hmm. um, and well, let's whether it had been varnished and when stuff. When they say painted, it's it's primed. It's primed for your but the pleasure. question is, well, we we would tend to call it primed because if I primed a model, this is what it looked like. But that doesn't mean that what it's been painted with is actually it's a actually decent primer. Accept, yeah, and they mentioned paint. varnish, and I was quite anxious about how that's going to in terms of painting over the top of it. So, looking at these then, the four tanks that you get in here, you get the T-34, you get the Stug G, at uh, the Stug, the Panzer IV G, you get a Cromwell, and you get the M4A1, also known as the Sherman II, I think, in the previous game. We'll talk about the stats in a moment, but let's talk about the models. In terms of the build on these then, John, what are do you these, reckon? Are these the same? They look like they... I don't think these are the models that they currently produce and do it, I think these are, where are they? I don't know, I, I am seeing some are. lines there. I am seeing some lines I believe lines that there. they are exactly the same yes. models. Okay. In particular, I can see that there's a gap. I can on the Cromwell, here. Yeah, yeah. I just you know? noticed that. I thought it may have been like a one piece injection dude. So Turrets are separate, as in you can take separate them off. Turrets, same, same turret pegs again, you can see where the glue is. I believe this Happy is, days. this. they have built this from their own kit. And that is fine in principle. The only thing that troubles me is does that mean that there's some poor Malaysian chap being paid 20 pence an hour Fact. to build my models? Fact. Yep. But then again, I suppose there's a different Malaysian chap who's been paid 20 pence an hour to pour plastic into a mold. So, you know, at which point am I complaining about it? Um, so they've got, they are, they are different, you know, there's three different green tanks here and they're different greens. That looks like yep. a fairly good Soviet green. I'm not sure about that British colour, it's a bit, bit olive -y. It is olive -y. Now, I don't know about yours, Brownie but olive. when I see this It's a bit more brown Sherman, on camera, you know, mate. What? On camera, it looks a bit more brown. Does it look a bit more brown? Green, yeah. Yeah? It's maybe the artificial lighting It might be our lighting here. here. But when I'm looking at my Sherman, we got, the we turret got, got. is a different colour to the hull. And it doesn't look like it's been painted. You know, like the green, the green of the. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it looks a different finish. Like the, the, the I don't know about your one, but my, yeah. uh, the actual hole looks matte, whereas the the top just looks to have Gloss. a bit of a satin finish. Yeah, but the but the green plastic of those kits it is that kind very of green. Different on camera. Does it? Is it quite striking? Yeah, like it's they've like, forgotten to spray. Like it. they've forgotten to spray it. Possibly. So these these are. I'm pretty yeah. confident they they have they have got some poor chap or chap s to as building these in malaysia for us which is good in terms of they are exactly the same as your existing models but what it does mean is they're also built to the minimum specification here so there's no machine guns there's no commanders there's no open cupolas no this is there's just no have a tank. there's no variation the, the skirts on the side of the panzer for it they're all pristine you've not got any any damage now I don't know what it's like to try and sort of paint these up 
from this point, and that's an experiment I, mean, I think that we'll do. that is an experiment worth having a look at. I assume that this is, um, you know, a, a, an industrial spray-in type process. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, for doing, sure. doing 100 at once. You know, the underside is... They, they've not skimped. They've not, they've not done a cheap job of it. No, Michael, they haven't. They've you know painted I mean? the underside. They've Michael. painted the underside, unlike me. So, comparing... So, I do have a couple of originals for comparison purposes. What we're looking sure. like. So, for example, the medium of this stills. is the one... Oh, yeah. This is the one that comes in a kit. Mm -hmm. This is the one that I have painted. Um, so, in the one that I've painted, I've got machine guns on it, which I haven't got on here. And then obviously uh, a commander, which again is not not an option. And the, the additional, uh, you know, the extras like you've got some storage on that one. Yeah, I've bits got some of bits, of, a few bits different. of storage on it and so forth. But fundamentally, I don't have a problem with including, you know, just painting over this mm. and using it with them because it is definitely now I've got one side by side. It is exactly the same, and the pans are four. It is exactly a, the same. A risk with a game like this is that they've they've got new ones and they're slightly different. Well, you, 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 you gave me a little definitely. preview picture. Uh, you'd be like, here you go, Johnny B. Look, it's turned up. And I thought they were a completely different scale. Just right. by the Because you just look at a picture. photograph. Yeah, I was like, wow, yeah. they look a bit yeah. bigger. They're not. No. Um, so, But that's good because you can, as I say, you can just repaint them, fit them within your existing collection. Hopefully, there isn't anything about the paint they've used. It's yeah, going to prevent you from doing it. You're not going to until you get the old We're not brush promising out, you that, but we will do a test at some point. So, should we talk about all the, all the cards and the bits? All the bits I and see. Bolts, So, the dice, what are these? Are these 12 mil dice? They're not big ones, they're, they're not, not small ones. ones. They're all right. So, we get a... First major difference between this and the, and the original set from Tanks, the miniatures game, is we only have stack cards for the tanks that we have. Mm -hmm. We don't have a deck of stack cards and then and then duplicates for the one. We just have stack cards for the one that we've got. So we have a T-34, a Panzer IV, an M4A1 and, and a Cromwell. So you get the right ones. It's a nice big fat card. It is a nice the, the big fat ones. card. So how... Do these, I think a lot of our people were already tanks players. Oh, yeah. So, should sure. we see how they compare with the previous version? Yeah. Have you got some of the older cards? I've got them? some of the older cards here. So, straight up, the points cost of the tanks is significantly higher. They've just, they've just upscaled it. Right. Yeah. So, I'm seeing this Panzer IV here is 35 points. The old one was 17. Which one do you want to talk about first? Uh, the Cromwell, because it's there. Well, Cromwell, because it's right there. So the old one was 23 points, the new one is 47. Blimey, 47 governor. 47 is quite expensive. So this Cromwell tank has got five hit points. It used to have five. It's four firepower. It used to have four. It's got three mobility. That's a new stat. It used to have the fast keyword, which meant it could move three. Right. So, you okay. know. I'm seeing it's where that is. It's got one survivability. They used to have an armor rating. And as an issue, so the stats are the same, exactly and the, the points same. are almost exactly double. So that's pretty much straight in line. Okay. It also has type medium tank, and if we flip it over, like with a lot of battlefront cards, a lot of your extra rules are Front. on the back. Ooh, very shiny! Look, you can see the reflection of the end there. So, um, medium tank when shooting. This tank may re-roll a blank attack dice. Yeah. Oosh. So, so misses a blank on here. Yep. Yeah. So you get re-roll one miss. But that's interesting because you can't re-roll a hit when you're fishing for crits, for example. Ooh. All right? But that's not unique to British. Now, what isn't here is you don't have the unique British semi-indirect fire rule, which you used to have. Now, that may be elsewhere in a kit. I don't know. That's a very good point. Have they just got rid of all those special abilities, do you think? I don't know. That them. is the first new card that I've looked yeah, at. Yeah, same. Yeah. Yeah. But, the, but it's getting that because it's a medium tank. So I think all medium tanks are going to have, have that. that. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. We'll find out. Should we have a look? Uh, all four of these are medium tank. tanks well, now come to look tanks. at it. Let's look at the other allied-ish one. Well, okay, so the M4A1 the... Sherman. Now, this one's a bit more complicated because it previously, the M4A1 Sherman... Well, which tank's tank was that? Because <laughs> in terms of the model, it was probably this British Desert Sherman 2. Right. That's, that's that model. Because the Sherman 75 that came in the original kit was actually more like, um, it was an up-armoured, so a 1944 Sherman, not a 1943 one. It's got a longer hull. 
and so forth. So it's a bit later. So I think actually this this is this card. The early, early, early ones. The earliest Sherman ones, yeah. So the Sherman 2, as was, had four firepower and a new one has four. Survivability 1, the old one had one armor. Mobility 2, everybody's got that now. And initiative 6 rather than 4. So this is intended to be an American mainline one. Right. Whereas this is intended to be a British desert tank when we had terrible tank tactics and they were just working through. So I think that, that explains that a little bit. But four hit points in both cases, That's which is same. good because the Sherman 75, the old American one, was really under-costed for having six hit points. Do you think in this newer version they're going to go into that sort of granularity of having all the different marks of Sherman, blah, 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 yes. blah, blah, other than like having one with a big gun and this one? Yeah, I think I think they're absolutely going to do, do that because I think they're also part maybe because the world of tanks buying. But what I like about this is it's giving you the actual designations. It's not saying this is an up armored late Panzer IV. It says it's a Panzer IV H. Right. And a Panzer, and, and that's how Quite I know specific. the historian in me. I know what an M4A1 is. I'm not sure what an upgun Sherman is supposed to represent. Right. It could be any number of things. Right. Okay. Am I making sense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's 37 points, which again... Opposed to? Well, the old Sherman 2 was 14, but it's had, a, it's had a boost, and it's got five crew positions. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this five crewman business, though. That's cool. Yeah. If quite a few of them have got five. Yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm, pretty, I'm not sure that they... Three-man turret, one gun, and one load. I suppose they did. But have five. is is it you can have five crew, or it is, is it just like you can... You can have those five crew part. positions. Yeah. Yeah. So that one, nice, nice little tank. That was the Sherman. Uh, should we look at the T-34? Yes, mate. So this is the one that doesn't say, it just says straight T-34. And given the fact that they are naming these as is, <laughs> I assume that this is the earliest iteration of it. Yeah? So if I compare that with the T-34, the old T-34 card. Three oh, variants of just this that. were produced at several The Sherman did have that medium tank thing. 1940 to 44. Yes, as a side note, it does have the yep. medium tank special rule, which is to re roll the blank. So it's 40 points with the fight power of four, a survivability of one, the old armor stat, uh, initiative six, and mobility three. So the old one was 18 points and it had an extra hit point but less initiative. Okay. Now I think. Um, look, Initiative is everything in this game. Yes. Because it's, it's about, a, it's a it's big about point. movement it's order. A big point. Not, the firing order doesn't matter terribly much, but the movement order does. Because it's all really yeah, close. It's a bit of a Car Wars type game. And it's about, I'm going to shoot you in the flank. Or deny you a shot. Or deny you a <laughs> shot or whatever else. Initiative is everything. Because of the way that the dice work, a tiger will die to an unlucky round of shooting. You know, that's that's the nature of the game, uh, but the positioning is everything. Yes. So I'd gladly give up a hit point for two points of initiative, but it is 40 points. So what would I say about these uh, then as new cards compared with old is, is I think that they've done a little bit of rebalancing and I like it. Yeah. Yeah, Good. I think there was some particularly um, sort of egregious aspects of the old ones. Some units were just too good for what they were, and they se you paid for them, and they seem to be the ones with new stats. Like the, base like the basic Sherman, the basic T-34, the costs have changed and the stat arrangements have changed a little bit. Whereas, you know, some of it, like the Panzer IV looks, is almost exactly the same, and it, w it was right. Before. That one, the, that yeah, one was okay. That was okay, yeah, but they've absolutely. balanced some of the others. I've noticed something. I don't know if it means anything. You're not going to know because it's the first time you're looking at it. But it has the tier levels on there. Is that a thing that they're bringing in? Uh, so tier f I, I, a, a tier five or two. I don't know. No, that's a world Something of tanks. To look at. Well, I, I don't think this has got anything to do with the tanks. This game, the game. but the game, this the is parent a game. But whether there's a whether there's a view that in that you say oh well we'll play a tier five game then ah uh, yeah i don't i don't yeah, know I, well i don't know so in their computer too, game those tiers make a huge difference in this i honestly don't know but i don't think so because if you look at that just the nod, that just shape, the nod to the online these waves it's not like we're releasing all the tier one tanks then all the tier two tanks you know, they're all all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they will eventually release all of those mainline vehicles, I think, for the big four nations, which means there'll be some new stuff. Other bits we get in here, we've mentioned the dice, but shall we, uh, the critical hit deck. 
Just have a good shadoosh. Just having a look at this. Oh, the presentation of these. Beautiful. They look nice. The, you know, the new, the new style. They're simple, but they're nice. But I'm just looking through. We've got Equipment injured crew, injured crew, two What's damage, this? turret jam, destroyed track, bailed out. These... Ammo damaged. Three damage, sir. I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't remember ever drawing that. Ammo explosion was what it was, was called that last time for three damage. These critical hits look exactly the same. Damage, 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 damage. Uh, ammo damage, discard all ammo upgrades on this tank, plus one damage for each discarded three damage. This is the same. This critical Zeros, hit deck. Zeros, bailed out. Yeah, I can't okay. tell you that it's exactly the same, but it's certainly on the face of it looks it. It's just presented differently. And that's nice. You don't want a lot of art on, on cards like that, but just some. And the black background... It fits, it's in keeping with the other cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In there, alright? Spots! So that's your critical hit deck. Boosh! You can't play this game without that deck. Now, the other two things we have... This one says open it first, mate. Open this open, one first. Open this pack first. Okay, okay. Should we open this pack first? Did we get knives up? No. I just used my awesome skills at breaking things and broke into it, sir. You broke into it. So these are the upgrade cards, and it's nice to say, like, open this one first, etc. It's not, it's not like I you have to. I it's don't just, get it why they've put that there. I think it's to scaffold it, because what I, I find, you might, you might not, but I find new games often a bit overwhelming when there's just a million things to look through. I found a winner. You found a winner. What have you got? Pudding and tea, sir! Pudding and tea? Pudding and tea! Discard oh, to use, me. repair and radio damage, or okay. bailed this, out. This has got this new... And that's British, it's got a flag on it. Stuck together. So oh, I British. think these, these are, these are different, and this is the major area where you're gonna see uh, a change from the previous iteration, because these are, I think these are in keeping with the World of Tanks game, so cool. they to sort of blend it together. Mate, loads of stuff. And I have to say that I often just didn't bother with upgrades before. No. But I think by upping the points cost of the vehicles, but not the upgrades, that there, there may be a better value proposition in the game in terms of how where you spend your points. Yeah. So you got a Cromwell, is sure. a 47-point tank. Spending an extra two on a gun rammer doesn't feel like... I don't feel like, well, I could have three upgrades or I could or get another a tank. Or a whole other tank, yeah, that, that's quite the yeah. difference, isn't it? Or was. Um, and, the, and so then these allow you to, to differentiate your vehicles. The only snag with them, if I may, usually, is remembering, oh, this one's got that and this one's got that. So what I tended to do is like, everybody's taking tungsten. You know, I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd keep, keep it, it simple. simple. Um, but that doesn't mean that you have to. So are we getting... I'm just looking at these. Are we getting things? They're definitely uh, most different. Most of them seem generic, uh, as you're saying. Most of them are quite new, different costs. But different stats. So, for example, I'm seeing one here, Camouflage Net. Yep. That is plus one armour while stationary for six points. That's nice, because I think that stuff like that used to be uh, until you move. So presumably the game is allowing you to redeploy your, your camouflage there. Of course. Net get out, boys, quick. Move. But if you don't move, you get it. Six points plus one armor. Not bad. Not bad. Binocular telescope. That's them like alien eyes. Periscope <laughs> ones. Uh, while stationary, this tank may modify a hit into a crit when shooting at a tank that's not a close range. For power. Nice. I'm seeing that pudding and tea, sir. Yeah, large repair Please. kit, discard engine damage, turret, jam Just turret, to destroyed two points. Yep. Okay, quite specific. For two. Spall liner. So this is definitely benefiting from some of the, the deeper knowledge of, of tank warfare. So do you know what spalling is, John? No, mate. So um, do you know the uh, British anti-tank round one, we have one that nobody else uses called Hesh? No. High explosive squash head, which is a fantastic name. Is this for just spin round? Is that is that the no? What spalling is is when um, when uh, munitions hit a hard surface like armor, it may not penetrate, but there's a lot of heat and kinetic energy involved. It will superheat the inside of the tank, and a big claggy lump of metal is still going to come off and hit you in the head yeah, or whatever sting a little. it's still going to do quite a bit of damage to the to the inside of the tank and there's not a lot of inside a tank that doesn't have flesh in it do you know what i mean it's like if anything comes off in here it's hitting one of it's us it's hitting one yeah for sure. you know is that what this did so spalling 
is is that and we actually developed a munition the hesh round which which really leverages that it creates a huge amount of spalling on the inside uh, which is what the hesh round does so this is the idea of you put like a rubber lining on the inside of the tank in the key areas around the crew areas so that that you don't suffer from that it's going to catch a little bit of it yeah because this round this isn't a round that's gone through this is a round that didn't go through but might still take you out Grim, mate. And when defending grim. this tank may modify a crit into a normal hit. There you go, you see? Yeah, nice. I like that. When defending this tank may... Yeah, modify a normal one to a crit. Okay, yeah. so you can stop a crit. Way! Yeah, there's some, there's some, there's some, some good stuff in things. here. And th there's a number of um, cards here. I think Johnny B will get you some still so you can have a look at them. The number here is going to help you um, not feel overwhelmed, I think is the thing. This, th there's a lot to look through here, so you can say, that I like the look of that it's, one, I'm going to try it here. Yeah. But there's not so many that you just don't know where to start. We like and we've still got taster. the nation-specific ones. In here, we've just got two, I think. Two. One was the pudding and tea. And the other one, there's the high-octane gas, which is plus three initiative in the movement phase. <laughs> but discard to use. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. One, once a game. One pop. Mate, I don't, I'm going to get flanked. I don't want that to happen. Boom. Hit okay, the nitro okay, button or whatever okay, it is. This is cool. Yeah, We mate. might actually use some upgrades, do you think, in our next game attack? Um, well, there's the question, because this is from this is from World of Tanks, not historical, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, true. true. Are we going to play a game where we're just going to use the four tanks out of the box? I think we should. Where we got, like, Germans and Russians on the same I team and all should. that nonsense. Yep. Yeah, I think we should. Because we've got a box each here. Boom. We're just going to play it. We'll play with one of each each. Yeah. And then get completely confused as to whose one is whose. Whose Sherman is which. Yeah. What? what? We had to put a little sticker on the turret <laughs> yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. All right. Team well, we're not promised that. We're going to definitely play this game. There's been a lot of um, a lot of people like, you know, whoa, the old tanks game's been discontinued. From what I'm seeing here, mate, this is just a new edition. And it's slightly glossier and it's got some minor updates to it. It looks like fundamentally the same game. We'll know more when we've been through the rules in detail. But we had a quick look online and it seems very similar. Very, very similar. Yeah, there's a few. Cover rules have changed a bit, bits. I think, because they've added hills. I don't think it's that much like that. that you're not going to be able to play it. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if the, the free download that they did is essentially the core thing. If this is oh, you mean if it's different players yeah. uh, entirely, then so you know you shouldn't get too bitter about it because you can actually yeah. you can still play as you are. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, this game, this game, the old game is still a perfectly playable game. For sure. I don't. I don't see any reason why you shouldn't feel that that's still a playable game. I just like the look. I like the look of this one. See if it's better. Yeah, nah, it's if it isn't, we'll stick with the old one. Easy. We're, we're not going to sit here for an hour and read all of these things out for you. Just suffice it to say that there's another set of upgrades, mate. The really, really. Um, the one thing I'm seeing is there's another high octane gas type in there another it's type. 100 octane rather than 105 and it's only plus two initiative two different that's really extensions. getting quite nudgery um yeah the soviet one got the option to remove the speed governor who needs it anyway mate yeah oh so that's true we've not got crew here have we i think there was a handful at the end was there dudes improved radio, radio module upgrade it wasn't actually dudes i've not seen any dudes mate firefighting basic crew okay so no that's a skill is there no dudes in there there's no there? dudes because in the other one you got like a tank case from each of the major nations didn't you perhaps that's where and, and you had little quotes about them as well perhaps that's where buying the the little yes yeah. the pack tanks yeah. are good we will we will get to those because we do have them but we don't want this video to go on forever ever but we'll, do ever. Them. we'll look at them in more detail because they're also the first wave of it which i've already released is four alternatives uh for other tanks the second wave they're releasing these as individuals hey Sorry, Within randomly. Yeah, go for it's it. got the points cost. The points on the cost back? on the back. I didn't notice that. Now I don't think we ever did it, but I think there's something about like you you sh you play in blind. You don't know what upgrades I've got. You only oh, know it's a six point it's a upgrade. Six -pointer. Whoa. Yeah, mate. <laughs> but we're not that pro. No. Oh, and Fact. I'm more likely to forget. <laughs> exactly. So uh, we usually play it with face up. So yeah, there's another there's another deck of cards there. They're not. You know, don't feel you have to wait. I just think it thins it out for your first couple of games. Yeah. So. This is £33 UK, 40 US dollars. You get four pre-assembled and undercoated miniatures, dice, 
rules for the game, your basic upgrades. You can definitely play this with your scenery and your tokens yep. out of the box for yep. that kind of money. New players for and the And I game. think that, that, for me, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, that sounds an all right price for, to get into a game. To get into a game. The one thing I would have hoped to have seen a lot more of is unit cards. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, I think. So because of that, is you're very much sort of committed to buying the expansions. That's clever. Sales tactics. Well, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but I'm less, I'm less keen on I that. I mean, that's where, that, the, I mean, I can imagine already existing players would be a bit bitter about that. Hopefully yeah. they'll bring out like, here's a deck of cards, maybe. That would be a thing. Well, they might do, but you're talking about, I think there's like a two year release schedule for these kits. So you're going to see, you know, they've all talked about wave one and wave two. The blisters two. are going to come out first, aren't they? <laughs> you're going to see the blisters, yeah. And, and the, if they do with the card pack, they're committing to releasing a model two years from now. Mm. And I don't think many companies can do that. No. They can't be certain that this is actually going to happen. You know, I mean, this game could flop. This game may it, go no further than what we're looking at right now. Yeah, I'm sure it won't. New value, value, what do you reckon? Do you reckon it's good? Yeah, four yeah. tanks, a game out of the, the box for 35. You, box. you look at any other sort of game, board games and stuff yeah, yeah, like that, yeah. if you compare it to that, I mean, you're looking at spending that sort of money. Well, there's another so. really famous uh, game, a war game, that's got like a £35 intro set, isn't there? But, uh, like the recruit edition for Warhammer. No, I mean, who wants that <laughs> so, anyway? You know, I think <laughs> I think a lot of games is they've got fifty pound star sets, um, or a lot of games have got thirty pound rule books, and yes. I think that they they provide you know yeah most if you buy a hardback Warlord Games rule book it would cost as much as this set. There'd be a lot more rules. A hell of a lot more. There'd be yeah. a hell of a lot more rules. Many many rules but you're not, to forget. You know you don't have to buy your tokens and stuff. So the only other thing that is probably was would be missing from here, for, in terms of completeness, is a paper play mat. They could have given you I'm a folded, printed bit of green, all right, yeah, glossy paper. I didn't open my pack, and I, I just realised that yeah, you didn't, you didn't there put that to one side. No, there isn't did a the, paper play mat. Did the mat. original one come with? No, it didn't. No, I, I'm not criticising it for it, but in terms of comprehensiveness, if you really want to give sort of twelve year olds. A, an out of the box game, ready to go, paper play mat. Because it giving you cardboard scenery is far less common than a than a paper play mat. True. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sure you can play it on the table. I'm sure you can play it on a green duvet. But it just in terms of comprehensiveness. But then a lot of people who are not twelve year olds are complaining, saying, you know, the cost of that play mat is going into the starter set. Just yeah. give me the tokens and the pieces. I don't need that. I don't want it. Yeah. All right. I'm Sweet. stoked about this because we like tanks anyway. I think it's just a more glossy version. We'll see. Fact. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy our content, like the video, maybe leave us a comment. Thank you. I think it's good value. All right. I think these are all right. I'm gonna have a go painting one up at some point. We're gonna play a game. Ew. You, you're gonna see us with with World of Tanks style, I've got one story American. Tanks. You won't see that more than once okay. because the historian in me finds it abhorrent. <laughs> but it is a it is a game. We'll give it, it a go. We'll a have game. a laugh. We will play the out of the box experience. Probably Wait. won't. Will we use a cardboard scenery? Probably not. Thank you.